Hey YouTube, I'm Aldon, and welcome to episode 33 of my Mass Effect Let's Play. And let's go figure out what's up with Cerberus. And then I still haven't decided whether, which planet, oh yeah, I'm almost dead. Hey. Look at that. Ah, ridiculous. I am glad that did not take me longer, because that was entirely possible. Is there anybody else on this friggin' planet? What level am I? Uh, 20. Okay. Yay, easy decryption. Very easy decryption. Tornado. I'm pretty sure tornadoes are pretty awesome if you can use shotguns. Uh, equalizers. I have an equalizer. Medical station. Give me Medigel. Wow. Is that supposed to be easy? I always get confused when I'm up at the top because it's really hard to tell. Uh, cryo rounds. Cryo rounds are fun. Let me get cryo rounds for my pistol. Yeah, there's my meta jail. Now. Yay! Well, that was kind of, um, odd. Uh, Neveria, Pharos, Neveria, Pharos, Neveria, Pharos. I think I am going to go to Pharos, because I just wanted to go to Pharos. I will go to Ferris. Actually, Novaria I usually go to first, but I'm going to save that there's a really hard boss fight that I'm going to save until later. I don't think I'll have as much trouble with the boss kind of boss fight on Ferris. Oh, and that was another cookie cutter place, if you didn't notice. Now, I think... No, I, I was there. Okay, let's go pick up some debris. Expensive debris. Bounce, bounce, bounce. As normal. The nice thing about the bits with the Mako is that they're um, good things to skip because they usually don't say anything really important. And they take a while, so I can just skip it if I go a little over, like I did last episode. You know, I didn't even check to see if that was actually under 1530 after I cut it. Pretty sure it was, though. If not, I can always change it, though that's annoying. I think I'm going to check that after this episode because I suddenly became very paranoid. Bounce. Yes, let's bounce off the side of your tires. Salvage. Well, that was easy. Incendiary rounds. Those are also fun. Anyways, on to Ferris. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get interrupted by something. So I've spent like two weeks at least just doing random junk since, uh, um, Theorem. So let's do some main quest lines now. Transmission coming in, Commander. Yep, I think this is I think about. You're going to want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Yep. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. If you know something about Cerberus, you'd better tell me. I suspect I know less about Cerberus than you do. I'm merely an agent for the Shadow Broker. See, oh, the Shadow Broker. contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kohoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Yeah, the Shadow Broker and his agents aren't exactly possession. super violent. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kohoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. You hear that accent on his voice when he's we saying Kohoku? Kohoku? Something like that. Cluster. Unfortunately, that was is all that more Japanese? That is why we are so interested that name in acquiring Japanese, copies of the files from you. Anyways... Um... These are classified alliances. That's not why I'm not, not handing, handing them over to you. 
Be reasonable, I just Commander. don't like the shadow burger. Was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. Maybe I should. I'm trying to decide what my character would do. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. But no secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Uh, Might as well be you. Transmit the files well, to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? I think I'm going to give it to him. Information is a commodity. Because that way it'll get to someone and then someone will do something about service. Supposedly. Is not my concern. I am only the buyer. Okay, whatever. I'll transmit the files. I knew you were wow, his tone was a lot like mine. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. I wish. Anyways, so that was interesting. So, Pharos. And I just remembered that I need to download Bring Down the Sky. But, Pharos. Hercules, Pharos. Theseus. Pharos is actually the system, not the planet. No, other way around. Pharos is the planet. That was really loud. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. Oh, I'll patch it God. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Yes, I've heard We've you guys got a situation here. Oh. You're the only one that can handle it. I will do this instead. How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? Because this you respect our shepherd. And is this an important mission. The mill mission. Not really there's important. An alliance but, training I mean, not really where we test interesting, but important. And technology and live fire because it gives me a new skill. A one new of class. the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics. And I get to go to the moon. Is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone, it's gone rogue. rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. Nanoseconds. So we impressive. Need you to fight your like a million for a second, I think. The VI core. And manually disable it. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. Oh, of course it does. You're the only one. You can can't have separate shepherd. VIs do the Good important luck. work and and do the defenses. That would make sense. I'm not going to do anything in this system. I'm just going to go straight to good old Seoul. Local cluster. So. And... Yes, those were very strange side effect, sound effects. But yes, I am in Seoul. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and good old Pluto, which is no longer a planet. I wonder if I could survey. Uranus. Nope. Anyways, I'm just gonna go straight to the moon because we can't serve anything here. Luna! Whatever, it's the moon! How do you get helium from the moon? Probably should have looked at that. Okay, Tally is coming with me. There is no doubt about that. Because I need Tally on this mission. I have no biotic strength. Frick. Or maybe I can do this. Um. Whatever, I'll do that. No, gosh. Eh, yeah, I'll do that. Because Tally needs more pork anyway. Anyways, I'm going against VIs. Everything here is automated, thus Tally. Because biotics work better against, uh... Oh, by the way, look at the earth. I want to show you something. Okay, recognize this? Let's see. Florida, Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, Baja California, the Rockies, Canada. Is there anything I can recognize up here? Alaska's over here, I think. Might be Russia. It's kind of sideways. Yeah, it's like a mirror image. It's backwards, very backwards. Because here's the Caribbean. Everything is just backwards. I don't know whether that was just a mistake or what, but yeah, they definitely screwed up. Wow, there is nothing here. And there are no Thresher Malls on the moon, thankfully.
Wow, this is boring. I wonder if this topography is at all similar to the actual moon. And like this is one of the uh, seas. It's possible. It's very possible. I should look that up. I'm curious now. It's kind of ominous because I'm in like a giant bowl. It's a good thing the sea is as big as it is or it would be a lot scarier because that wall is looking kind of ominous. And also very repetitively textured. That looks strange. It looks like the earth is moving. Not the wall. It's weird. The textures aren't really impressive. They're not bad from a distance. But they still look very fake. And I just completely walked past where I was going. Drove past. That was stupid. Let's see here. Should have enough time to get to the VI, VI place and blow it up first. Yay! I love that there's an abandoned satellite on the moon. Uh, good times. Now where am I going? I am going to the Alliance training ground on the moon. Probably a zero grav training ground. Oh, and there's no differences in gravity. That always bugged me. I, th I, I think that would be awesome. And not that hard to do. I mean, you've already got a physics engine. That's do with... Well, I guess you'd have to modify the physics engine. And depending on what it is, it's screwed up. So some, someone should make a physics engine that has modifiable gravity. I wonder if the engine for like Half-Life... Whoa, god, they were actually shooting at me? I wonder if the engine for Half-Life does it that way. Like it just changes gravity sometimes. Lots and lots of turrets. But, no one cares about turrets because turrets are easy. And even if I do get hit, it won't deal much damage. Level up. See how easy this is? So I wonder if this happens. I think this happens as soon as you get level 20. I'm guessing. Anyways. I don't have enough time to go in one of them. Oh, I know what I'll do. See, whenever I find a time like this. Oh, for one, I'm an idiot because I can do this. Oh, I actually did hurt one time. Um, you can get pistols. And shotguns. Oh, whoops. Damping. Do I need damping? No. I need, do need this one. And these two. You can get weapons. That's what I'm going to do. Caden. Um, advanced overload. Um, advanced neural shock, even though that's pointless at right now. And a bunch of points of sentinel for no particular reason. And me. What about me? Um, electronics. And do I have enough time for inventory? A little bit. Tally, a decent pistol. Wow, that sucks. Oh my gosh, that's an awesome shotgun. Sadly, you don't get that shotgun, Tally. That goes to Rex. You can have that one, though. We have plenty of this stuff, though. Um, armor piercing. You can have that one. And you can have combat sensor. One of those can go to here. Caden. You don't get a... No, you can have a better pistol. After I check to see if it's better than mine. Ah, shoot. It's not. You can have it. Yawn. Mm. Oh, awesome. Awesomely better shot. Uh, sniper rifle. That's nice. Is this better? No. Better for anyone? No. Eh. Unity amp. Should I get that? Um, no, yeah. 
Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. You can go watch the next episode. Um, I'm only going to do three today, which means two today and one tomorrow because I had it took me some time to do some stuff. So thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Tell your friends. Follow me on Twitter. Do all that awesome supporty stuff. Thanks for watching. See you for the next episode.